If you've ever seen soldiers marching in perfect formation, kicking up dust on a training field, or trudging through rough terrain on a mission, you've probably noticed the one piece of gear they all have in common, combat boots. These aren't your average fashion statement or weekend hiking shoes. They're built for survival in the toughest environments, keeping feet protected, stable, and mission ready in conditions that would destroy most footwear. But for something that might look like just a boot, there's a lot more going on beneath the surface, from the materials and design to the way they're engineered for durability and performance. So how do these boots actually get the job done? That's the question we'll be answering in today's video. How do combat boots work? Stick around because we're breaking it all down right here on History of Simple Things. Before we get into the nuts and bolts, or rather stitches and soles, it's worth looking at where combat boots came from. Footwear for soldiers goes way back. Think Roman legionaries in their caligae, which were basically heavy-duty sandals with hobnails for traction. Fast forward to the 19th and early 20th centuries, and armies were issuing leather lace-up boots designed for long marches and rough conditions. By World War I, boots like the British Ammunition Boot or the American Trench Boot became standard. These were sturdy, but they weren't perfect. They often lacked waterproofing and could become stiff and heavy when wet. Soldiers in muddy trenches quickly learned that bad boots could be as dangerous as enemy fire, leading to conditions like trench foot. World War II brought more refined designs higher ankle support, better soles, and weather-resistant leather. Since then, combat boots have continued to evolve, integrating new materials and ergonomic designs while keeping that same core goal. Keep the soldier mobile, safe, and ready. When you look at a combat boot, you might just see leather and laces, but each part has a purpose and every detail is there for a reason. Let's break it down. One, the upper. This is the part of the boot that covers the foot and ankle. Traditionally, it's made of full grain leather for durability, but modern combat boots often mix leather with synthetic fabrics like nylon to reduce weight and improve breathability. The upper is designed to protect the foot from debris, cuts, and scrapes while also resisting water and abrasion. 2. The Toe Cap Soldiers don't want their toes getting crushed by heavy gear or injured by rough terrain. Some combat boots have reinforced toe caps made from hard rubber, thermoplastic, or even steel in certain models. This protection is especially useful in environments where falling debris or heavy equipment is common. 3. The Lacing System This isn't just about keeping your boot on your foot. Combat boots often use speed hooks or eyelets designed for quick tightening, letting soldiers adjust fit on the fly. The lacing also helps lock the ankle in place for stability during running, climbing, or sudden changes in movement. 4. The Midsole and Insole Inside the boot, the midsole provides cushioning to absorb shock. Soldiers can spend 12 to 16 hours a day on their feet, often carrying heavy packs, so reducing impact is crucial. The insole adds comfort and can be replaced or customized depending on foot shape or mission needs. 5. The Outsole The outsole is the tough, grippy bottom of the boot. Military outsoles are made from high-durability rubber and often feature deep tread patterns for traction on dirt, mud, and rocky surfaces. Some are also oil-resistant and slip-resistant for use on slick terrain. 6. The shank hidden between the insole and outsole. The shank is a stiff strip, usually steel or a composite material, that gives the boot rigidity. This helps when carrying heavy loads and prevents the sole from flexing too much, which could cause foot fatigue. 
7. Waterproofing and Breathability Layers Many modern combat boots use membranes like Gore-Tex to keep water out while still allowing sweat vapor to escape. This is critical for preventing blisters, infections, and overheating. So why all this complexity? Well, a soldier's boots have to perform in situations that make normal footwear cry for mercy. A mission might start in a dusty road, continue through mud, and end with climbing over rubble. That's why combat boots balance three main qualities. First, durability. They need to survive months or even years of daily use without falling apart. Second, protection. They have to keep feet safe from sharp objects, harsh weather, and uneven terrain. Third, mobility. They must allow soldiers to move quickly and comfortably without weighing them down. The trick is that these three qualities can sometimes work against each other. For example, making a boot extremely protective might make it heavier, which slows movement. That's why modern designs carefully choose materials to find the sweet spot between toughness and agility. For many service members, combat boots are more than gear. They're a symbol. They represent readiness, discipline, and the shared hardships of military life. Veterans often keep their boots as mementos, and in military tradition, empty boots are sometimes used in memorial displays for fallen soldiers. Outside the military, combat boots have been adopted by hikers, outdoor workers, and even the fashion world. But no matter who's wearing them, the original design purpose remains the same, to protect and support in the toughest conditions. Combat boots aren't just rugged shoes. They're precision-engineered tools designed to keep the wearer mobile, protected, and comfortable through some of the harshest conditions imaginable. Every stitch, sole pattern, and material choice is the result of decades of testing battlefield feedback, and constant refinement. So next time you see a pair of combat boots, whether on a soldier in the field or a hiker on a trail, remember, they're carrying more than just someone's weight. They're carrying the legacy of centuries of design evolution, all built for one purpose, to keep the wearer standing strong, no matter where the mission takes them. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.